Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing is doing damage, bro. It's pretty good. <laughs> what the heck? This is a great card to get. It's gonna be great damage. Yeah, let's get to it. We're gambling. You know how it be. You know how it be. Hold up, face cam on. Yeah, we're here. Gambler class. Orchid mod that adds in the gambler class. Now, keep in mind that the class right now is not completely finished. But right now, it goes all the way to the Wall of Flesh, I believe. Uh, I think the only class that goes past the Wall of Flesh is the Shaman. Yeah, right here. The Gambler, Alchemist, and Shaman. Well, Gambler and Alchemist classes only have pre-armor content. The Shaman class is implemented through the whole game. Here's the mod list. I don't know. Somebody clip it if somebody really wants to look at this really badly. There you go. I probably missed a mod or two. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, I'm liking. I'm liking Gambino. Gambino. All right. Uh, let me just boom, boom, boom. You know how to sort everything. Weapon. Throw that shit out. We don't need it. You think I need a weapon early game? You're tripping. All right, hold up. So our first weapon we can get our hands on. It might just have to be like chips or something. I don't think this wiki is up to date. So the way we do damage is with playing cards, chips, dice. I don't know. <laughs> this is, is going to be it's gonna be tough, huh? Copper chip. I think the only way we can get a chip, though, is by having cards. So I can't even use chips unless I have a card. So like, what the fuck is my first weapon? We just have to find a card somehow. I hope you have a card up your sleeve. I hope I do too. But I'm wearing sh I'm wearing short sleeves, so I don't know. I don't know. Here's, the, here's the problem with like classes that don't have like an early game weapon for you to get your hands on super easily. It's like, what the fuck do you do? Just walk around, pray? I'm, I'm throwing some prayers out right now that I get a good weapon. Oh my, oh, we actually did get a weapon. Playing card, unstable sap. 10 gambling damage releases a slow moving sap bubble following the cursor upon releasing the mouse click the bubble will explode the longer the bubble exists the more explosion damage sounds cool all right so i go like this boom we now have a card in our deck i don't know what the hell the bar is but i can do damage now what am i hearing a worm why am i hearing a worm i'm at the surface it went away too the worm is like oh my bad i'm not supposed to be <laughs> you went away very quickly i don't have a torch man I, I got these glowing sticks that's about it all right hold up i'm about to get my first torch right here boom and if i let go it explodes oh we got another card just like that you'll love to see it playing card bouncy beginnings summons a bouncy slime following your cursor each successful hit increases damage touching the ground resets it let's add it to the deck beat his ass beat his ass come on what was that there you go let's just uh you know let's just farm some seeds i guess this thing is hard to control oh look now i'm at that one but yeah the other cool thing is that there's multiple sets you know how like in regular cards there's like sets of cards you know like or suits i guess you call them there's like spades clubs diamonds hearts they have a thing that's kind of like that but instead of suits it's sets of cards so it's like a theme of cards there's a slime card set that has, you know, the card that we have, Bouncy Beginnings. And then there's a King Slime card. And then there's a Jelly Cloud card. And then it's like, once we get a full set, we can buy an accessory, which is really cool. Yeah, I'll show you guys. See, Slime card set, Boss card set, Biome card set. I think if we have three of one set, we can buy the accessory associated with them. I like this one. The Exploding Bubble is the fucking Dirty Bubble from SpongeBob. Get his ass. Did you guys know that the... Uh, the tavern keep and the demolitionists are gay lovers <laughs> according to the terry iceberg bubble oh yes the dirty bubble got your ass look that's a chip so if i pick up the chip oh that's the chip right there the little red line is the chip wait what if i get eskimo armor come on <gasps> oh my god we got an eskimo hood my first time having Eskimo armor when it's actually like appropriate to have it. That's crazy. It's like a damn bomb I just hit him with. Are you lesbian or American? It's a tough one. I prefer not to say. Oh, new card alert. New card alert. Playing card. Enchantment. Requires three cards. Oh, okay. I get it. This is damaging sparks. So I need one more card in my deck. And I could add that card to my deck. Yeah, it's cool that there's like little requirements for some of them. Because I think I have enough. Yeah. 
Copper chip time. So I can only use the chips when I pick up a chip from killing an enemy. This is basically the Yu-Gi-Oh class, kind of. Where are the nurse bitches at? You talking about like the nurse NPC in general? Are you talking about any females in the chat that are... All right, first of all, if you're asking for any females in the chat, maybe one. And they're probably a lurker. That's about it. I can't even say maybe two. No, that's about it. This is how much I don't fuck with this next NPC that moves in. You get a cactus chair, asshole, sit in it. You get a cactus bathtub. Go ahead. Take a bath. Go ahead. We put it all back. So this is what we need to do. We need to get that NPC to move in and find more cards. That's about it. Bound chemist. What's up, girl? What you up to? Oh, you a chemist? Well, I'm stupid, so I don't know if I can help you. <laughs> I'm just a gambler. I'm a fucking degenerate gambler, not a chemist. I'm not smart enough in that class. Any booger eaters in chat? Green slimes are the superior race? I think blue slimes. Ah! I think blue slimes might be the superior, bro. The, the king is literally blue. The queen is pink, but like, you know, I don't know, it's a pink slime. Let's be honest. Do you guys think Ryan has a normal size of nose? Because, like, I've seen his nose in person. And I'm going to I'm gonna have to say a strong no to it being normal size. Like, that's my guy. Ryan's my guy. But, like, you've seen the pictures. If you were there when uh, his girlfriend, Ralph, was on the stream playing, what was it, Drawful or Gartic phone? Like, she, she was going with the big nose thing. So, that must mean it's true, right? Oh, new playing card. 50 gambling damage. 50 throws explosives detonating upon release left click has a small delay before it oh my god i said we've been needing a new card that might be perfect gamers if you could time travel what would you do i would have dinner with jay-z like i'd be mad as hell if i spawned with like herbert as my name this might be the hardest weapon to use but it's pretty good damage right so i feel like whoa albino <laughs> is that an albino what that mouth do me by that bro me in the womb mad as hell because my parents saying my name will be dunked <laughs> i'd be furious in the womb i'd never play games like this well actually no that's a lie not like this far back though i will lean back though when i play games ryan normal height i'll consider this the most ergonomic way to play the game he drank the ryan potion bro i hated doing pacers pacers actually not pacers weren't even that bad it's when you had to do the push-up did you guys if when you had to do pacers did you guys ever have to do like a push-up or something at the end one of my gym teachers they just started like adding that to like the pacers so we'd run one way do a push-up get up run the other way do a push-up that counts as one. Oh my god, I fucking hated that shit. I was like, I was like, I was like, please no push-up at the end. And they'd be like, nah, you gotta do a push-up. I'd be like, fuck. I hated those push-ups, bro. It just made you like extra tired during the paces. So I would do the push-up. I think we we only had to do the push-ups for like the first like 50. So it wasn't that bad. And then I think like you got like a bonus something if you do push-ups the whole time. But I'm like, bruh, I was like, I'm not one of those kids that would show off. You know what I'm talking about? The try hard ass athletic kids. I'm not, I wasn't one of those people. I'll just be chilling. I'll do my shit and that's it. All right, so the boy himself moved in, Atanasio. So we can buy a gambler dummy card. That's cool that there's a dummy card. Uh, there's the chip which that does more damage in my chip uh there's the dice uses two chips last 15 seconds increase gambling damage by three to 18 percent that's so weird playing card shuffle randomly shoots a selection of clubs spades diamonds and hearts each projectile has its own property and behavior hold the attack button to create more projectiles and enhance their effects damage increase with the number of cards in your deck and then there's playing card forest tosses a handful of acorns periodically summons a seed replicating the attack there's a lot to take in here i think let's do this first before we start buying stuff from him let's create armor let's create our first gambler armor set all right boom can i craft this or will i not have enough i can craft it let's go first armor set unlocked i'm turning all this stuff off yes sir oh my boy got style my boy got drip he look like little nas x i like this one Ooh, they all have different attacks so let's see the diamonds okay the diamonds do that we saw the diamonds the hearts let's see the hearts Ooh, where the spades at? Come on, where the spades at? Oh my God, <laughs> spades, there we go. Okay, okay, I like that one. And then what's the other one we got? Forest. Cool, very simple card. Let's get to it, we're finding the first boss. 
Let's do it. King Slime versus my gambling addiction. Who will win first? Ooh, I got a good card starting off. I got a good card starting off. You done fucked up going against this card, boy. You fucked up going against this card. Oh, and then I got a great card coming up next. Oh, yeah, walk into it, please. Any chips anywhere? Oh, yeah, we got some chips. I'm going to use the dice. Should give us a little extra damage, right? I think that's how that works. Okay, hold up. I got to redraw. Okay, that is not a great redraw, I'll be honest. You know what? It's all good. Use the chip. While we wait, I guess we can use it. It's not that bad of a weapon. But I'm just saying, if we were fighting like expert king slimes, dude might be beating my ass. I'm not going to lie. We got some chips. Let's use them. Let's be accurate with them, though. Don't miss. Let's not miss. But for now, we got to use these, this weak-ass forest card. Maybe I should have got rid of the forest card, honestly. We do have a redraw available. But I think, honestly, the sap bubbles might work out here. It's just a good card. It might be a little slow for the king slime, but it's still a decent card. Oh, yes. Back to the prime time card. It's probably my favorite card in the deck. Next to the, like, ace of spades one or whatever the hell it's called. And boom, bada bing. First boss dead in the gambler only run. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, bro? Let me get that uh, snow card. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Desert. Thank you very much. All right. Let's get you back over here before you die. So, boom. He sells the lucky sprout. Increases the frequency at which buying cards spawn seats. Sure. Why not? How much gold? Two gold? I can afford that. Playing card. Blue king. Summons a bouncy slime following your cursor and jumping up to it. Gains it in damage with fall distance and enemies hitting a touch ground. Is this not like the other slime one we have? Oh. So it's kind of like the uh, the slime mount. Is I'm assuming how it's going to work. Did I ever tell you guys the story where I, like, I got almost attacked by a skunk? It's a good story to tell because it was Halloween. It was Halloween when it happened. I remember me and my friend, we were, we were trick-or-treating around the area. And then like... We were tired because we went around the whole area and there's a lot of hills like the area i'm in is like very hilly like there's a fuck ton of hills over here so like we were tired we're like all right let's sit on this curb for a little bit let's take a little break and we're sitting in the on the curb and then there was this bush behind us and we started hearing like movement in the bush and it was like chick, 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 chick. like the bush is shaking and I'm, I'm like looking i'm looking behind me i'm like what the fuck is that i'm asking my friend i'm like what the fuck was that you heard that and then uh, out of nowhere, here comes a skunk just running at us full speed. We got the hell out of there, bro. We were running. We put on the wheels. We put on the jets. We were out. <laughs> we said, oh, hell nah. And we were out of that bitch. <laughs> Big ass skunk coming after us. All right, let's get to the money. Aya Cthulhu versus the gambler. Who will win? And I have the worst card up first. All right, there you go. Oh my God, look at the damage. That's fucking beautiful. That is beautiful. Bringing a tear to my eye. Get it? Because he's the eyeball. Switch to that. All right. We kind of got a bad card we're working with here. But I can work with it. I, I, it's a little dark up there. But I'm working with it. Oh, here we go. The bubble. The bubble is pretty good. You know, he's got lower defense. He's in his phase two. So lower defense. The bubble actually is not bad at all. Oh, hold up. We got this next. Oh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Hold up. Use the dice. Get the extra damage out. Boom. Oh, that would have been a kill. That would have been a kill right there. Hold up. King slime. Let's get up high. More damage. Come on. There you go. There you go. Yes, yeah, sir. Bouncing on the eye. Bouncing on the eye. Come on up here. God is ass. No card drop, though. That's sad. Hello. May I have this card? Thank you. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? I cannot see when wearing this. I can't read chat. It's too blurry in here. <laughs> I could read chat. Yeah, when I bought... What was it? I bought the... My brother bought me the collection of uh, one of the fallouts. And it came with the helmet. And I was like, you know what? I have this helmet at home. I don't really need to buy a new Halloween mask or anything. But I cannot see shit inside of it. I have no audio. All right, we're not doing that. We're not doing this with this one. You can't see your face is too dark. That's fucking racist, all right? I will not be having that shit in the chat. Come on now, Pudis. Let's get it. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. All right, maybe not the greatest 
weapon to start with. It's all good. We'll make it work until the next weapon comes out. It's actually not bad. It actually is not bad. It, it did some damage, given what it is. Oh, yes. My favorite weapon. This is legit my favorite card. Do that, get a little extra damage. Uh-oh. Redraw, redraw. Yeah, get that shit out of here. That doggy doo-doo snow card. If there's a card I get rid of, bro, it's that card. That card sucks. Okay, this card sucks too. You know what? I'm using chips. Good hit. Oh, good hit. Yes, yeah, sir. Finish the kill off with chips. Wow, can they drop me a card? Did they drop a card? I have not been getting too many cards from uh, bosses. Let me see. Oh, okay. I did get one. I was about to say. Like, they've been skimping on the cards. Uh, summon three brains around you, one of them following your cursor. Only one of them is real and deals contact damage. Hitting randomly changes the true brain and increases damage a lot. Brains cannot deal damage if they are too close to you. Ooh, poggers. Gambler elemental cards. Attacks will affect enemy with related debuffs. Did I read that right? Cards already inflicting debuffs will have them last longer. That sounds useful. That has to be useful. Plank card, glowing mushroom. 28 gambling damage, that's nice. Throws bouncy mushrooms exploding on a second contact. And projectile cannot deal damage before bouncing once. Spirit actually summons a fungi, broken an attack. Sounds nice. Add it to the collection. Can I see it in action? Looks good. This is either I die and have no chance against this boss, or it's gonna be a hell of a fight. A hell of a battle. All right, let's get it. This might be the toughest fight. This might be. Okay, not exactly the greatest first card. It's not bad. At least I'm gonna be able to hit every now and then. Okay, I'll take it back. Take our secret weapon. Our secret weapon is the slime monk. Okay, I gotta get a good card draw here. If I don't get a good draw, then I won't use my dice. Well, I don't even know what I drew. What I draw? Oh, it's the bomb one. Uh. <laughs> what I draw? I drew the eye one. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> She's dead. <laughs> oh my god. That was the best case scenario. <laughs> what a fight. That was easy. Some light, some light. Let's do it. Lepus, great music. Very, very quiet. Wait. That's not a good first weapon to get. That's probably like one of the worst weapons we could get. Uh oh. Oh my god, that was close. Okay, we're getting some of the worst possible uh, summons, or not summons, cards we can get our hands on at first. You know, it was bound to happen. Even though I literally just said there isn't that many bad ones, as we get like two of the worst ones back to back. Hey, that Eye Cthulhu one, that, that one's weird, man. It's like, it does a lot of damage, right? But at the same time, it's like really hard to use. So like, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Let me, uh, let's do this. Do a couple explosions. I don't even know if that hit, if I'm being 100% honest. And then let's see if I can hit him with the brain attack, which is... Oh, actually, no. This is one of the better ones we got. This one right here. I don't know if when I fight the wall flesh, I should get rid of all the ones that are bad. I think that would be smart doing that. I think it would be smart if we had, like, top tier ones, so we only go through top tier ones. Yeah, yeah help me out. Help me out. All, all NPCs, help out. And he's too far away. All right, we're not fighting Turkor. We'll we'll leave him off the list. Skeletron it is. He's an X. Okay, yeah, I gotta make some uh, deck modifications. There are some cards that I get that are just absolutely useless. I think the Brain of Confusion, this is one of them. I can't use that fucking card, bro. Glowing Mushroom is useless. You have to bounce it off of the wall to use it. That's too hard to, like, do. Detonator is useless. Uh, the Eye Cthulhu one is not bad. It's just, you really gotta be good with using it. All right, let's get it. Nice, good start. Well, I don't know which direction I gotta go. Uh oh. Okay, that works. Well, like, I don't even know what I have right now. I have the eyeball summon. Oh, I should buff up. That eye, that eye does damage. <laughs> it's like, it's hard to use, but it does so much damage. Like, we already killed one of his hands with the eye. No, we didn't. What? I swear, didn't we just kill one of the hands? Why is there another hand? What? <laughs> Where'd that hand come from? See, now I'm confused. <laughs> I thought we killed that hand. I thought I heard a whole noise and everything. Come on, get that bubble over there. 
Get that bubble over there. Boom. Get that bubble over there. Boom. Dimension. Didn't it? So we need to like watch a replay because I swear we literally we ran over his hand and we did like a bunch of damage with the eye of Cthulhu. So it's a little hard to tell what's going on sometimes, but like this is like my safest strat. What, what happened? What? <laughs> Where'd all my speed go? All right, you know, we'll finish it. It's just the last half. I, I didn't stop pressing a key. I just, my dude, my character literally just stopped moving. Momentum gone. In what world is Skeletron easier than Turkor? Turkor doesn't even exist. <laughs> Summons a skull, slowly following your cursor. That just sounds good. There's nothing about that that sounds bad. All right, so finally, we can get our next set of armor. We made our first set of armor in the first stream, like before King Slime. And now we can finally get our second set of armor. Playing card, Erratic Magic. 61 gambling damage, extremely strong knockback, elemental set, throws a portal, firing shadow bolts at increasing rate. The portal will disappear upon releasing left click or getting too far from it. Sounds amazing. We got this one, the spirit tier, fires a burst of spirit bolts. Hitting the same target with all projectiles will rip apart their soul, picking up will deal a large amount of damage. Damn, those sound cool. All right, now let us craft this new armor. If I could craft it completely, yeah, I should be able to. Sweet, beautiful. We finally have a new armor set. We got the headgear, increases our max chips. Uh, the chest plate increases damage. Maximum redraws increased by one. That's very nice. And 10% increased gambling damage. Wait a minute. Don't we only have one redraw to begin with? I better have two redraws with a set bonus. Drawing a card gives between zero and two chips. Oh, so I still only have one redraw? The armor looks cool. I look like suit it up like nobody can touch me there we go we got the fucking card let's do it wall of flesh let's hope i could actually do this the arena is decently sized but not that big that's a good start i like that oh can we get the piercing one though uh -oh. can, we, can we can we get the piercing version now nah, that's good damage the ones that pierce okay that's fine at least I could actually land some attacks with this one. <laughs> oh, let me buff. I always forget to buff. At least I can land some hits with that one. Now, I'm interested here. How far can I throw this? Pretty far, but, like, not far enough to hit it. I don't even know if this is hitting. All right, you know what? I'm shuffling. I'm shuffling. We're switching to this. I'm moving so slow that enemies are spawning. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very lackluster in terms of attacking. Like, there's not much I could do. Oh, here we go. I Cthulhu? The I Cthulhu is gonna do some damage for us. He's a little far away. Wait for it. Oh! There is some good damage being done. I can't really see her from over here, but there was some good damage being done. We got the Queen Bee one. This one's gonna summon in the little bees, of course. It's a bee item. What else does it do? I hope that I'm attacking. I, I can barely tell, honestly. I might have to do some of this. Throw a couple of those out. Oh, here we go. This is a great card to get. It's going to be great damage. We're going to finish the fight off. Plain and simple. Maybe I'll hit him with a little bit of this. A little, you know, nice little boom at the end. End it off on a boom. And just like that, our gambler adventure is over. I am no longer addicted. While the shaman can continue their play through, the journey for both alchemists and gamblers stops here for now. Beautiful. Great ending. Brings a tear to my eye. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gambler class. I do plan to do more videos like this where I stream a whole playthrough, either a modern playthrough or a class playthrough, and I'll condense them all into one video. It might take longer for the video to come out, but it's just way more digestible that way, just being one long video. Because obviously we're in the era of YouTube where doing a series isn't really, you know, possible. It's not good for the numbers. Hence why I ended a bunch of the other modded series is because nobody's watching. But yeah, I want you guys to leave suggestions of a mod you want me to play through or a class class preferably class a little bit easier to play through a class uh quickly but there's a couple mods i have been wanting to get to we'll see if i get to them but yeah make sure to subscribe to the second channel to catch the full gambler streams that are on there and also make sure to follow the twitch to watch the streams live thank you everyone for watching